I want to talk about something that we really need to take heed to. Sometimes it is best to not say anything. Why do I say this? Even when you know that you are right, even when the other person that you may be having a conflict with know that you are right, or people, sometimes it is best to not say anything. Why do I say this? Sometimes if you say something, it is going to make the problem much more larger. You see, what we have to understand is that people have psychological issues, emotional issues, and stuff like that. So when people have these types of issues, you can use all the logic in the whole world and they are not going to receive it. So sometimes it is going to take prayer to get these people to change. Think about that. Even when you know that you are right. Like for instance, myself. I am not saying that I am right all day, every day, no. There are times when I am wrong, of course. But what I am trying to say, there are times when I can show people from what the Bible say that they are not supposed to say this or do this and stuff like that. But when it comes down to it, because of their pride or whatever else they have, they are not going to receive what I am saying to them because of that issue that they have. So if they are not going to listen to what God says or what the word of God says, what the Bible says, why do you believe that they are going to listen to you? So why even take your time and try to explain yourself to these type of people when they are just going to get angry at you and make a larger problem? Does that make any sense? Let me say this, even if a person gets, there are some people out there where they are going to take everything you say and twist it around and make it sound like you are doing something mean to them and stuff like that. So what I am trying to say, when you close your mouth, at the most, they may fuss at you for maybe 10 or 20 minutes. If that, if they are really outrageous, maybe an hour. Maybe not, because an hour is a very long time. <laughs> an hour is a very long time. Maybe 10 or 20 minutes at the most. So you just have to sit there and listen to them how they feel about the things or if they or what they think about something. Even when they don't want to hear your side, just listen to it. What we have to understand, God is looking at everything. God sees everything. So when people do you wrong or do wrong things, you have to understand that they are going to get punished for it. When you are doing good by closing your mouth and not saying anything, God is going to reward you for that. And when it gets down to the point, let me say this, with people with these pride, people with pride and stuff like that, when they don't want to hear your side and stuff like that, when it comes down to it, it is selfishness. That is the key thing. Selfishness. No matter how they obtained that psychological issue or that emotional issue or whatever, however they obtained it. Now, there are people with those types of issues that are going to listen to what you are saying and stuff like that. What I am talking about, the people who don't want to listen to your side, that just want to relay to you, relay to you how they feel about something or the way that they think about something. When you run into those type of people, what I am trying to say, 
the root problem they have is selfishness. And as you know, selfishness is a sin. So for whatever reason, they are that way. And they may think that they have a very good reason for being the way that they are, whatever. But when they are selfish, you have to understand that God is going to punish you, punish them. So even if you have to sit there and listen to them complain or tell you how they, how you hurt them and stuff like that, or all of this foolishness and stuff like that, you have to understand that if they continue to be that way, God is going to punish them. And God is going to reward you for not saying anything because if you were to say something, you and you and I know that that may make the problem much larger. So all in a nutshell, what I am trying to say, sometimes the best thing to do is to say nothing. Because even when you are right, many of the time they know that you are right, but because of that issue with their heart, I'm telling you, the problem is, is their heart. Yes, someone may have hurt them. Yes, they may have had a bad life. Who hasn't? I went through many bad things, but I am not allowing the bad things that happened to me or many of the bad things that happened to me to change the way that I treat people. I am not going to treat a person rudely or badly because somebody treated me that way back when I was younger. That makes no sense. Because everything that we do and say, we have to take an account of it before God. So we are going to get judged and punished by the bad things that we do and say. So close your mouth. Really simple. I know that it it may be really frustrating to sit there and listen to a person talk crazy to you and stuff like that. I understand that. But sometimes it is best for you to close your mouth. Because yes, you may get irritated and stuff like that, but it is yes. Imagine how irritated that you are going to be when you try to explain yourself in a very logical way and they still take you in the wrong way. <laughs> I can go on and on with this because <laughs> I, I was going to say because there are people like they try to find things to twist in what you say like they take one one word that you say and then another word that you may have said later on in a conversation and try to twist it together and make this <laughs> I don't know what you call it <laughs> like this conclusion or something like hey are you saying that <laughs> there are really two things that you can do with that either avoid that person if you can for myself, there's certain ones that I can't avoid. I have to deal with certain ones, but if you can avoid that person or people, do that. If you can't, you just have to bear it. So really take heed to this. God bless.